Okay. Brazzy's Black Book of Secrets contains some of the best kept secrets in Azeroth. Not for the faint of heart. Okay, Brazzy's Guide to Getting Good with Gnomish Girls. Brazzy's Handbook to Handling Human Honeys. Brazzy's Notes on Naughty Night Elves. Brazzy's Document on Dwarven Dates in Dunmoreau. Brazzy's Dictionary of Devilish Strain Eye Damsels. The Corner The Getting Good with Gnomish Females. Uh, Gnomish Girls. Uh, the corners of this leaf foot are barely bent. Ro role playing. Good role playing skills are essential. No genius gnomish gal wants a giant boar. Regale her with tales of your future cross continent continental adventures. You, me, babe, we're gonna fly the calendar, etch your names into the side of Telder so, and spend the rest of our lives swinging from trees in Ungoro Crater. Storytelling. Share stories of your exciting future together. The more impossible, the the better. Then gets the gnomish girl excited like an ambitious plan. It also makes it for great conversation starters. With our brilliant minds combined, we could retake Gnomer again. Why haven't we taken retaken Gnomer again anyway? Sadly, I, I don't seem to be able to... I don't think I can become bigger with each drink. It just resets the thing. Uh, teasing. Teasing is the art of making fun of women of a woman in a humorous way. Uh, be careful, you can't go, you can e easily go too far. Calling her no, a, a goblin ganking gnat will leave you walking home wearing that green Gordok grog you, uh, you just bought. Uh, try something a little more subtle. Jack's childish and refuse to stop jumping on t tables in the middle of a bar. Try, I heard there's an opening for the star entertainer at Stormwind Orphanage. If she won't stop talking about herself, play for you try, where's your off switch? Important note, Numbers girls do not have an off split. Off switch. Didn't think to find it may result in loss of life, limb, or wallet. Our, our lives and our love may be a game, but the players are real. This is funny. I've never read these before. I just remember vaguely that um, there's this person they did like secret videos, and I saw a few of them. And there's a secret in Karazan, secret here, and a secret in Tetanaris. I have the Karazan one is awkward as hell to reach. You have to like climb up a bookcase by you know kind of using the system a little, whatever, um, and then gliding across. I uh, uh, gliding to a, no a troll village that was, for whatever reason, in the Karazan instance. You actually take fly out of the tower. You like, climb up a bookcase, hop along out a window, glide, and you end up near a village. Anyway, there's nothing like wooing the heart. Uh, there's nothing like wooing the heart of a human girl. Infinitely forgiving, endlessly caring, and fantastically fun. Human girls have been uh, the downfall of countless heroes throughout the ages. See Chapter Three: Jane of Proudmore and the Man Who Loved Her. Prince Kale to us. Uh, Prince Kale and Artis. However, generation after generation has proven it takes more than just money, looks, or an epic suit of armor to attract the woman of your dreams. Not even the power of gnomish engineering and gnomish invention can help you to hear. To possess, to charm the heart of another, you you must you should possess these qualities: be fun and friendly, be a challenge, and be a man. Be fun and friendly. Ever have a friend who shows up at your house and brings everyone down? Yep, everyone does. Does he get invited back to the parties? Not unless you bring in the ale. If you want to be an attractive person, live an attractive lifestyle. You'll find that the more you enjoy socializing with others, the more they'll enjoy socializing with you. There's no faster way to ruin a girl's night, bringing in, the, in that needy apologetic vibe. Let it go! Brace the fun and your confidence will soar. To be honest, that sounds like general... Act, that, that actually doesn't sound like t absolutely terrible advice. Surprisingly. Um, just be confident. You know, it's better in social situations. Yeah, that makes sense. Be a challenge. Too many gnomes. Um, too many gnomes these days walk along with their heads all slung low, shuffling along sadly from tavern to tavern, hopelessly holding on to the, these limiting beliefs that no human girl would, would ever want them. They rush into the tavern, sure with compliments and free drinks, then go home rejected. Well, I'm be the first to tell you, friend. When you give yourself away so cheaply, you diminish the value of your unique, ex exquisite personality. You've, got, you've been told by society you're not, you're not the prize. That women will never acknowledge you. That you must beg for it, love and attention. Uh, they are wrong. D don't give yourself, don't give your affection away so freely. Instead of asking yourself, "What does she like me?" 
Ask yourself instead, do I like her? Challenge yourself. Show her you're looking for a girl who offers more than a pretty face. She can't keep up with your life? Move on. If she shows she's got something to offer, you're, begin you're, you're at the beginning of a beautiful thing. Be a man. In, her end, in, in an age where, where we've been banished from our homes, forced to fight for our very survival, based on horror is never, n never before known to Azeroth, you would think that the nature of manhood would be better understood. So the art of masculinity has been wa lost, washed away in the glitz and glamour battle. He's never been a fight, has he? Uh, with practice, it's, however, all is not lost. With practice and confidence, you can come back and you can come back in touch with yourself. Once you met the human girl of your dreams, she's shown herself to be worthy of your affections. Take the lead. Show her everything that is beautiful about your world. Hold her hand. Develop a close, affectionate relationship. Show respect for yourself, for her, and the for and for the and for the world around you. Above all, be responsible. Okay then. Um, t -t 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 this uh, this ale stained piece of paper contains a single sentence. <laughs> Out to date the dwarven woman. Ask her to buy you a drink. <laughs> uh, this 500 page codex consists mostly of pictures. Can I have some? Please. Please. Christ, now my, eye, my now my mind is drifting to fan art I've seen on DeviantArt. Devilish drain eye damsels indeed. Are your tastes more exotic? Do you desire someone a little more out of this world? Or who's your thing? But suck you by a little too much for you? Read on, my friend. I just arrived off the boat to Azure Mist when I stopped a group of young Draenei dames around the ripe young age of 230. They were laughing and having a great time. What luck. Still on the docks and I'd found exactly the type of fun, energetic Draenei women I wanted to meet on this trip. A bit At first, a bit anxious. Christ, I'm feeling awkward reading this. <laughs> um... I breathe deeply and remind myself they too are here, not on, on, uh, here in Azeroth on vacation, looking to meet new people and have a great time. No, they were fleeing for their lives from the Burning Legion. Demons at their, uh, you know, nipping at their arse. Not in the fun way. I remember they were. Yeah, sorry. Just took a quick drink. Sure enough. They were delighted to see one devilishly charming gnome like myself and the Exodar. Turned out, we were both staying near the Vault of Lights. We exchanged deep, penetrating glances into each other's eyes, promising to meet again near a doll later that night. I thought he was just like a signpost to meet us. The next day, I met another beautiful drain eye woman. The glimpse of her horns gave only the gentlest of glimpses into her refined tastes. I asked why was she visiting the Exodar, when in shock, she told me she wasn't visiting, she lived here. The words I spoke to myself before I returned to, to my mind, she is on vacation. Um, I'm looking to meet amazing people and have a great time. I don't know wrong. She wasn't on vacation at all. Then suddenly, the grinding of my, gut, my, of my mind clicked. I'd, claim, I'd been claiming to myself to around... Hmm. I, I had it all wrong. She wasn't on vacation at all. Then suddenly, the grinding of my gear, uh, the grinding gears of my mind clicked. I'd been so, cl I'd been claiming to myself that they were on, they were, they were so receptive because they were on vacation. What a knowledge excuse! I'm a fun, interesting guy who any sensible-minded girl would love to group with, on vacation or not. When I meet Drain Night girls, I remind myself of the simple truth: she too is looking to meet people and have a great time. Suddenly, I don't know why, but. I'm just suddenly thinking of some American president. Nixon? I don't know why. Just. What? Are, I don't know. The following 497 pages of this uh, dictionary consists of s entirely oddly angled pictures taken from a Super Snapper FX2000. <coughs> Please, Blizzard. I will pay a fair bit of cash. Not 22,000 gold, you fucking bastards. If you release that 497 pages. That would be quite nice, thank you. Moving on. Here, will you buy these back? No. Okay, um, let's sell these. I'll hold on to that. So that. 
Okay, moving on. That was well worth the two, the twenty-two thousand. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'll, I'll continue running this. Who knows? Maybe I'll get a uh, artist's mount. I think you're actually really meant to avoid those. Yeah, it take does a wee little bit of damage. Just a wee little bit. And to be honest, if I'm running this, I probably should have grabbed um, the legendary quest. But fuck it, I won't be. I'm not sure if I can be bothered running that. And I can do it another time if I want. I'm still tempted to going back. By the light, the transporter worked. Croc Scourgebane, Grand Champion of the Ebon Blade. Our champions have lost much blood in his struggle to activate the Scourge Transponder. Must prepare, be prepared to return the favor. Follow me, men. Uh, let's go to... White's Hammer. I'm gonna actually grab this quest. I know, I was saying, ah, I don't need, uh... uh Actually, who are you? Targ Torgo the Elder. Runeforge? Ah, that's where it turns in. So, anyway, moving on. Number Spar. If only I could mount up. Wolverine dates in the Moreau. Devilishly drain eye female. Of devilish drain. Uh, dic a dictionary of dr devilishly drain eye females. Uh, naughty night house. Ooh, I never read this one. Okay. Uh, Brazzy's notes on naughty night elves. This gold trim document is not available in stores. Let's be honest, since the end of the Third War, Night Elf Girls have had it, uh, have heard it all. In fact, they've already heard it all long before you and I was born. If you want to engage the mind of a Night Elf Girl, you're going to have to stand out. Sure, we've all heard the tales of Night Elf lasses dancing on mailboxes and stripping to pay for nightsaber training. True or not, if you want to light, light that lady, lovely lady's lips up with a smile, you got to be unique, memorable, and confident. Start off by showing a... She, I start off by showing that you're looking for more than a gal with looks. Sure, she can bounce, she can dance, but can't she hold a decent conversation? Does she even understand the proper use of a of a samophage? Does she know how to have a fun time? It's nothing worse than, br than bringing a night elf to a party, only to watch herself stand awkwardly by herself, bring conversation only to lament the loss of her highborn sister during the War of the Ancients. Sounds like he's talking from experience. But yeah, new beastie for um, rather Lich King. Uh, the those guys that uh, they were flinging, uh, flinging themselves around. Okay. Precious is now dead. Can I be honest? That sounds like one of the Muppets or something. Can't be honest with you. It's rot face over here. And, uh, you know, uh, when the bosses... Seriously, you reach back. Huh, asses. I'm out of range. I'll kill him later. Uh, the boss in uh, the new... Um, Violet Hold uh, is actually a combination of him and the other guy. Uh, the other one of these. Dance, dances with oozes. Defeat Rotface without a big ooze uh, casting unstable ooze explosion in 25 player mode. It's constant references to the professor from Futurama. Come on, big guy. Come on. I wonder, did they just buy in this skull, uh, skull flooring from, you know, like, Home Depot or something? I fixed the 
poison slime pipes. Yeah. Um, or, or is this actually all skulls? Because you imagine they would kind of be broken by now. What with big guy there. And all that. And I, and I choose to assume, like, Home Depot sells. Home Depot sells all these skull flooring. I said it, therefore it must be true. Okay, Fester got. There we go. Can I be honest, I already want to kill him. So fucking much. Ah, I know what's going on here. I had to hit switch in each room. Yeah, you're meant to hit a switch in either in both rooms uh, to activate this thing. So anyway, now I have their both of their acidic bloods. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, I already want to kill him. But yeah, meant to be Farnsworth from uh, well. He's referencing Farnsworth from um, Futurama. I haven't actually f seen all that yet, sadly. Ah, cool. Summoned in a few more of these. Hopefully they drop loot. Yes, they do. Didn't get much. Travel with his backpack. Just got a random tw uh, 16 slot bag. It's actually meant to be another backpack. Cool. Who's Ruiz Valve? After wandering to this, fantastically. Or do I? No, I don't. I thought I saw a thing to interact with over there. Hmm. I didn't. Um, I think it was the way I was angled. I like uh, that. That was in the way of the cursor, so it messed with it. All right then. Moving on. I've also no idea how you trigger the geist alarms. Maybe they're invisible, and like all those alarms. But anyway, like I said, maybe they're invisible. Flesh-eating insect. Oh, that's friendly. I need to get fend insect swarm. Okay, we have to fend this off. I need to or maybe you just have to survive it. I uh, know. Uh, five percent of maximum health every one second. Yet it's only doing like. Three and two. That's uh, hardly five percent. Then again, maybe it's been nerfed by armor. I'd imagine armor now will be substantially higher than it was then. So yeah, maybe it's been affected by that. Okay, this is open now. And they're despawning bit by bit. Fantastic. Uh, you actually have to drink something off the table. Like, as part of the legendary quest here, you have to drink something off the table and during the boss fight, use a certain ability on the thing. On your uh, action bar that pops up. Don't know why you would actually want to drink this. So drink it now. Um, uh, also, giant bug. 
Okay, move.